A typical high school girl who dreams of finding the love of her life. Yet, going from an all-gender school to a girls-only school, it feels like the dream is impossible to reach. Citrus, a 2018 winter anime, is exactly that. It's an anime about a girl who breaks the boundaries of her own limitations of love. What exactly is love? Is it normal or okay for a girl to be dating another girl? These are the questions that the anime seemingly tackles. But as normal of a shoujo AI anime it may seem, it's a film that isn't necessarily loved by the audience. It's a film that lacks a lot of positive interest from people, and there are various opinionated reasons as to why, which I will not discuss. However, I want to explain my perspective and the important morals that this anime teaches in order to share my say on why this anime isn't as bad as people think. Now, before anything, a very common comment that I see about this anime is that it's just a ruined shoujo AI film where two girls are just seemingly lost with not much progress being made through each episode. It also seems that people think that the anime fails to define love as something close to being forced affection and assault. And one thing I do have to agree with is that this anime doesn't do a good job with sharing the ideals of love. I mean, it does show forced affection through some sort of assault, which also made me question the morality of this film and the moral approach that the writer of this thought. However, as much as it has its negativities, I also kind of thought about it in a different way with a different approach. It starts off with a girl named Yuzu Ahiara. Due to her family circumstances, she attends a different high school, but the catch is that it's an all-girls school. As a girl who yearned to find the love of her life, it was devastating news. In fact, the school that Yuzu attended was extremely strict and had a history of strict disciplining of the students. To clarify, it wasn't like any other high school. Girls were limited with their freedom of speech, not knowing anything about her school. Yuzu attends her first day and gets totally destroyed by the president of the school named Mei Arihara. And when things just started getting worse and worse, Mei ends up living in the same household of Yuzu because it is later found that Yuzu and Mei's parents ended up becoming a family. When the two finally settle in, Mei suddenly kisses Yuzu, which leaves Yuzu in a state of shock. Now this is where it can kind of be considered forced affection or assault in a manner because it wasn't technically consensual. Now this is the moment where the story begins. Yuzu begins developing feelings for Mei and wonders if what she is feeling is what people call love. However, Yuzu questions this because she was never in love and she wasn't actually sure if this was just, you know, sisterly intent or if it was just her older sister instincts acting up. Now in short, throughout the 12 episodes, Yuzu struggles to find her answer. She finds it difficult to fully understand what love is and constantly finds ways to declare whether her feelings for her stepsister Mei are true or not. In terms of character development, this was a very meaningful replication of people in our reality. Love is questionable. There's no set definition as to what people can claim to be love. Yuzu's internal and external struggles to identify her status of love is a common difficulty that people face in reality. As Yuzu wrestles with her own feelings, she later discovers more about what part of her feelings are true and eventually comes to the point where she is able to decide on what feeling is what. This is something very dear to me because not only is the show replicating something that many people in reality can resonate to, but it's showing the progress as to how the character changes in terms of her decision making through the different scenarios that the character is put into. Although certain scenarios may seem too fictional to be real, I mean, if you think about it, it technically is an animation, so there are plenty of scenes that might not feel realistic. But there are also a lot of scenes where people can feel the relatability of progress, even in our reality. Now, let's put aside you and talk about Mei. Mei's first impression is very unfriendly. It is more and more revealed, however, that her unfriendliness wasn't due to the fact that she lacked any emotion, but rather because she didn't understand how to control herself. Coming from an extremely strict family line and the environment around her, such as her school, Mei felt betrayed when her father left the district to explore the world around him. Mei always knew that her father was one who obeyed and functioned under the strict circumstances that he was placed in, but later felt that her father was kind of throwing her away because he disagreed upon coming back to work for the school. Now, Mei being the person very dedicated to her school, she didn't like this at all. She wasn't agreeing with any of it. But on top of that, Mei also seemingly toys with people's feelings upon manipulating the weakness that the people have. 
In terms of Yuzu, she constantly kisses her in order to quote, keep her quiet, yet doesn't realize that Yuzu is only consistently developing feelings towards Mei, which only complicates Yuzu's feelings even more, which applies stress onto Yuzu, in which case Mei does not understand that, nor does she care for that. Since Mei's father also was not always with Mei, Mei grew up without much guidance or a fatherly figure. That's why when Yuzu decides to commit being a good older sister to Mei, Mei later realizes her efforts and begins to open up her feelings towards Yuzu. Mei is also later taught by Yuzu that feelings are not something you can toy around with, because that only leaves behind pain and scars that the other person forms and carries in life. As Mei starts to understand this, she just constantly fumbles and struggles to understand herself and questions her existence in life, especially her human connections. That's the beauty of this anime when it comes to Mei. Although I do admit that Citrus does not properly incorporate the idea of love throughout the anime due to the unnecessary assault that's being portrayed, the purpose behind the anime is a lot deeper than people might think. Citrus is about two high school girls struggling internally with themselves. It's about development. It's about understanding who they are, both individually and together. It's a show that talks about our reality. By experiencing different cultures and things throughout the 12 episodes, Yuzu and Mei constantly fumble with their own struggles, but slowly learn the answer that they each are yearning for. For Yuzu, it's to understand what love is. As for Mei, it's to understand what her feelings are and how to treat the feelings when it comes to dealing with other people's and her own feelings. These struggles that the two main characters face are very common in our society. This anime does not simply define the problems, but rather shows the developmental process of how each character figures their way into finding the answers that they each are looking for. You know, I have to admit personally, Citrus isn't the most beautiful show that's out there, but it's definitely one that teaches the audience about some important things, excluding the unnecessary assaults and, you know, the more, the more and more unrealistic things that are featured. But if you think about it, it's really about character development through internal and external struggles. It's a show that puts our reality into a film where people are able to resonate with it. It's a show that allows people to understand that there's always a way to help settle the struggle that anyone is going through. And the only way to do so is to let time figure it out through self-effort and realization. Thank you for watching today's video. I get that this anime isn't the greatest to discuss or talk about, but I do hope that you respect my fair share of words as I will for you. Please don't spread hate and let's all try to keep it positive. But until next time, take care.